today's video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a soupy smile, and all I've got to say is squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking into our shade video and for joining me. I am super excited to have you here. Hopefully, wherever you're watching from, you're drinking something delicious and you're sitting in a comfy chair ready for a shave. I know I am. I'm super excited. Today, we're going to be talking about two razors that I just got sent from Team Yachi, and I want to give Grace a huge thanks and a massive shout out. We are going to be talking about the Yachi Ultima, the stainless steel, fully adjustable, designed around around the original Gibbs. It is a truly beautiful, all stainless steel, fully adjustable um, double-edged safety razor that I just cannot get enough of. This, These just barely released and their new style of um, handles. So you got one that has like kind of a circular cutout and then this one that looks almost like fish bone or like uh, fish scales and it's like a hexagonal cutout. It has so much grip both laterally and vertically. It feels wonderful in the hand and today we're going to be using this and talking about it and kind of highlighting some of the other options and, and discussing why I think this is an awesome option for anybody looking for an adjustable safety razor in a modern day stainless steel beautiful mirror polish format. Oh, I'm really excited. Thanks again for being here. We're going to be highlighting and showcasing and kind of show, hi, I'm talking about uh, Atomic Pumpkin by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. This scent is one of my favorite all-time fall scents. It just smells like a beautiful bouquet of fireball. <laughs> I love this one. For me, you can see here, this is one that I use frequently and it's one I like to pick up. It, for, I know it's built upon a bay rum, but when you smell this, it, the pumpkin and the cinnamon, they really come out. And I think it smells really nice for this time of year. Again, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement, I'm hopeful that they release this again this year. Atomic Pumpkin, I'm sure they will. And most of the time their labels when they get that foil going on really pretty ah love this one and today on the shave on the face it felt phenomenal the lather we did that in our yachi and this is their uh travel bowl that is fully collapsible but you can see i'm using it on the daily i love this bowl it really is it cleans up really nicely which i prefer and take a look here the lather i'm able to generate with it is so good hydrated thick and just unctuous look at this stuff it is beautiful shimmery it has lots of body to it lots of protection and lots of slickness you can just tell by the shimmer oh it's going to be a good shave and we did that with our gemini yachi um this is their metal handle and i just love this brush absolutely love it it's beautiful it, i think it really um contrasts well with the brush and i love the photos i took with this handle and the new razors i love the way it kind of played together awesome awesome stuff and again Thank you for being here. I hope that you're enjoying the shaves. I know I'm loving doing them. Let's start doing the shave. Oh, we got 48 hours and we're going to be using some Persona Med Preps. And the reason why is I keep hearing that those are going away. I can't just, I can't verify that information, but I did hear they're going away. So today we're going to use them and just enjoy them. They're a blade that I really like, but they are expensive. We're going to be running the razor slightly above six. And the reason why is I keep hearing people say, well, this razor only goes to six. I've heard that four or five times now. This razor is one of the ones that has an infinite adjustment wheel in it. So as far as you're willing to let that head cap go up, that's how much gap the razor will give you. Now, Yachi over on their website page will show you which each of their models will um, kind of dial in at when you have the razor at a certain level, right? Which I like. I like that they actually called that out in a little chart. This is their brass version and it's actually their most aggressive one based upon, uh, based upon their like different levels of adjustment. You can see here they, they, uh, the ZMAC is also absolutely a fantastic budget st um, styled fully adjustable, infinite adjustable um, kind of razor. And when people like, I've heard other people say, it's so similar to the Rex, just get yourself the Rex and be done with it. For me, the Rex almost looks like the Gibbs, except that they kind of like fully enhanced it, right? It kind of looks like Matt took his razor and, and compared it to the Gibbs and then built upon the concept. So this is an original Gibbs, right? This is a razor that was produced roughly from the early 30s all the way into the mid to late 50s, right? It's kind of, I'm not a historian, but that's kind of the rough estimate that I give it. This is like original Gibbs. And when you look at it compared to the Rex, very, this one's chunkier, it's bigger. It kind of reminds me when you see like uh, a new Challenger versus the older ones, right? It just looks like they sculpted the lines and made all the lines a little thicker and a little beefier. Whereas when you compare it to the Yachi, take a look here. I think that this razor and this razor really have a lot of the similarities. It's like the Yachi really kept a lot of the things that I, the things that I appreciate about the Gibbs is available and kind of, um, like, you can see it embodied in the Yachi. And I like that. I like the design. I like the feel of it. I like the, 
this um, handle down here fits right under my ring finger as I, the knob fits right there. As I'm shaving, I love the way the balance is on this razor. You can see they've gone to a lot of effort to make this razor very similar to this one. And I appreciate that. I like this razor a lot. Again, 48 hours and we're sitting out with some Persona Med Preps. Let's start some shaving on the Max, just above six. Just above six. Oh my goodness, is that good. You can see here, and I noticed that on the face today. I almost started talking, even though I don't talk during the face shave, right? Because I have it playing. I almost started talking because the razor shaves so darn sweet. Now this is a razor that has uh, plenty of fill to it once you dial it up. But for me, when it's on its lowest settings, it's a very mild, easy driving, very relaxed type shaver for me. It sits in at 98 grams of uh, weight. And when you compare that to the Rex Ambassador, that's only five, they're only five grams heavier. So it's very similar in weight. I want to call that out because you would think with it being a little bit less um, beefy, a little less chunky, and a little less uh, large around the handle area, that it'd be a lot lighter. But it's only five grams. So that's the difference between the two. Five grams. For me, the blade fill on this razor is easily, easily, easily like three or four times less than the Rex Ambassador. For me, this, I don't have to flinch. I don't ever think to myself, this could bite me. Even maxed out, it feels very easy to use. I love this razor. And again, this is an awesome razor because this shows and highlights the fact that Yachi has made such an improvement and so much growth over the last couple of years of uh, making razors, right? And this is a kind of a cool, like, I love Yachi because they don't ever give up, right? They just continue to um, innovate and try to pr um, and change their designs and improve their designs. And I love that they've taken razors that really didn't, you know, shave as good as they could or have even exposure. They've really progressed from making razors in the ZMAC category and the cast category that were just kind of me you know, mediocre to this, which is absolutely phenomenal. It is something you can be proud of sitting on your, um, on your bathroom uh, counter it's something you, people will ask you about. People will say, oh, that looks very, very expensive. Now, this is not cheap. I want to call that out. They definitely are asking a lot. It is $140 for a fully mirror-polished um, stainless steel razor. And for me, that's a price point that you start having to say to yourself, Okay, is it worth budgeting for? I think it is. I like the way it shaves. I like the way that they've uh, improved some of the tolerances over their ZMAC model. Their ZMAC model, the final cut razor is a good shaving razor, but it definitely, definitely, definitely does not have the same tolerances and specs that their stainless steel one does. You can actually see um, when you compare them side by side that the stainless steel just looks so much nicer. It, it fits so much better together. And you can tell that it's going to just shave and feel nicer across the skin. Now, there are some things with the razor that I like to do personally to improve it. I do want to call this out. I like to recommend to people that like the razor and enjoy the razor on the daily to switch out the spring from the Yachis one to the Rex Ambassador spring. I actually reached out over to Matt and told him, I think his spring is one of the best springs ever to be released. I replaced my original Gibbs with Matt's spring. I love the spring in the Rex Ambassador and it fits directly drop-in replacement part for the Yachi razors, all of them. You can put it in their ZMAC version, you can put it in their stainless version. And why I like it is because the razor really is dependent on having um, a solid spring so that the bar does not move side to side while you're shaving. Now their original spring does not, and I don't think it's mandatory. You can feel a little bit more play in your hand, but across the skin, I don't really think it's that big of a deal, right? You don't really feel all that often, but I like the way that when you, as you're adjusting the razor on the fly, the Matt's razor gives you so much feedback. It really feels like you you can just dial in that exact number you're looking for, and it adds a little bit of smoothness to the toggle. So I like I like Matt's um, spring. I will have that highlighted. You can buy that directly from Razor uh, Emporium if you so choose. Man, that's so nice. Oh yeah, that's great. See, this is why I love the craft. This is what really drew me in coming from the cartridge and the electric razors is you just don't quite get a shave that ever feels like this. Like that silky, buttery, smooth, the skin that has no irritation. I could do this all day just buffing back and forth, no problems. And it feels so nice. It just lets you know you're getting the perfect shave. You're having a little bit of luxury for your morning and your skin's going to appreciate it for the entirety of the day. Oh my goodness, yes. That is where it is at. I love that. Oh, so darn good. And it really, I think it's a big improvement with their new handle design. Their original one was really beautiful, right? This design, but it lacks the same kind of grip that this one does. I think I could dip that in straight up soap and still get a really, really strong, sturdy grip. 
love how that feels in the hand. Again, if you were to compare all three of them and say, which handle design do I prefer the most? This one, the, the herringbone, wishbone, whatever you want to call it, the hexagonal cutout version. I really think that is definitely the, probably the handle a choice that I'd prefer. Now, when you compare it to the um, console's handle, right? The Razor Emporium's version, it is so much different. It feels so much different. Matt's feels thicker. It feels larger. It feels like it has like substantially like a lot more texture to it and you can feel it in the hand right it just feels grippy whereas this one right here it's a little smoother it's a little more delicate and i actually but it produces just as good a grip in my opinion so i like this i like that it just feels a little nicer it feels actually it feels really really smooth and elegant in the hand elegance right i elegance from miyashi that's cool that's something i i honestly from five years ago i didn't think i was ever gonna get the chance to say now i am a big fan i'm a big fan of yeah what Yashi's doing currently in titanium and stainless, really challenging themselves. And I consider Grace a personal friend. I consider her somebody that, you know, she believed in our channel before a lot of other um, people were even, they even knew about the channel, right? She reached out to me when we were about 500 subs and she's like, hey, I like what you're doing. And I really appreciate that she is a person that recognizes and encourages even the people that are small. I love what they're doing. And again, beautiful shaving razor. Awesome. Be right? Come on. I, for the money, I really like this. Now, you can get this razor for a little bit cheaper if you wait on AliExpress, right? You shop the discounts. Look at this. <laughs> so good. Super close. No nicks, no dings, no irritation at all. I love the razor. I love how it kind of... Um, Fly, fly, it really does follow the same form factor as the original Gibbs when you compare it side by side. And I love that it matches and it has a little bit of that legacy installed inside of the body of the razor. Awesome shape. Wow, what a good one. Beautiful, comfortable. Can't beat it. Absolutely love this shave today. What a gorgeous, enjoyable, flawlessly executed shave that did not take a whole lot of effort, that it truly feels as good as it looks Thank you again for watching, for being a part of the channel, and for making this possible. Without you guys here, there would just be videos, right? You guys make the channel possible, and you make it what the content is. Thank you for encouraging, being uh, positive, and for being here on the daily. I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's grab a little splash here, throw it on the dome, and see how it does. Oh, smells so good. Smells fiery. Smells fiery. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful BBS. That's a shave that you know is gonna last at least 18 hours and you're gonna have the comfort of 18 hours, right? People come up and touch your head, touch your skin, touch your face, touch your neck, right? You you, you can, yourself will be doing this. I know I catch myself while I'm working doing this because it feels so good after one of these shaves. Beautiful, again, this is available over on Yachi's website. If you like the razor, like the design, enjoy and you wanna be able to support the company and the brand, this is available over there for about $140. But again, if you wait, you look for dis discounts, AliExpress will usually do them and they do do yearly sales and things like that. So watch out for sales. I had a buddy reach out and said he got it for under a hundred bucks. So awesome shaver for that price, right? Kind of ridiculous, absolutely beautiful. Thanks again for being here. I I'm gonna go out and enjoy a beautiful BBS and I hope you had a wonderful day. And until we talk again, soups out! <laughs>